Good evening, and welcome to another edition of the Electors Corner. I'm Marcus Rudolph, your host, and once again we have the wonderful Father Martin Gladys. Thank you so much for yeah. for being a, a part of this again, Father. We really appreciate all that you've done for us. A uh, couple questions for you before you provide this month's chaplain's message for everybody watching at home. Uh, this month we'll have ordinary time before we getting into the Lenten season. So prior to the Lenten season, what would you like the men to concentrate on during ordinary time as far as what you would like them uh, to do uh, as far as Catholic Jewelry? Yes, yeah, so we have our Lenten observance mm -hmm. every year. Mm -hmm. the, do you remember the last year we talked about the Marcus 34? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We have a we have a Exodus ninety. Yeah? <laughs> That's right. And yes. we said that you you should have to make a Marcus forty. <laughs> Everyone has our our you know the the, the plans for the land, uh, what we will give up mm -hmm. or what we will uh, add to our life mm -hmm. to make this this time of the land uh, a little different. Uh, so, <clears throat> yeah, this is a different time. Mm. This is, a, I'm always saying, you know, that it's the best how we can uh, uh, not survive, but go through the land is, you know, to slow down. Yeah, Our life has to slow down. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, no more parties, no more, you know, some activities. Maybe this is a, not maybe, for sure, this is a time, you know, for the meditation, for prayer, for the station of the cross. I will talk about this in, in my message for, for um, uh, February, but yeah, recognize that something is changing, yeah? Mm -hmm. And it's and the challenge is at the beginning, because the Ash Wednesday is Valentine's Day, mm -hmm. yeah? How to go with the wives for the <laughs> Valentine's Day on Ash Wednesday? <laughs> so this is the first challenge, yeah? It, Multitasking, it's, yeah? Yeah, <laughs> land, land is a challenging time, and it, this year is starting with the biggest challenge. Right, 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 right. Yeah, so, yeah, recognize a land as a time of slowdown and time of challenge. All right. And piggybacking off of what you stated, uh, the kickoff day for the Lenten season is Ash Wednesday. Can you just, in your words, um, can you just tell us, talk about the significance of Ash Wednesday? Uh, so the Ash Wednesday... Uh, this is the beginning, yeah, mm -hmm. and this is this is this is the moment when the priest will mark us with the ashes and say, "Believe in the gospel and proclaim the gospel, and you become from the uh, ash and you will turn back to the ashes." It's this is the moment, as I say before, about the slowing down. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's like a, the Jesus is saying that. Uh, not the Jesus, but Bible is saying, you know, when when you are making a penance, when you are praying, you know, it's it's mark your head with the ashes, you know, to show to yourself and to others uh, that this is a special time, yeah. And uh, you know, it's it's really interesting because uh, when I moved to the United States, it was the first time I saw that this is the the cross on the forehead. Mm -hmm. Because in in Europe you are putting ashes on the uh, on your head, so it's other people are not seeing this, yeah. Right. So I think uh, at the beginning I was a little confused, you know. It's like a, <laughs> okay, you know, until the someone said that this is the best day to find a good Catholic husband, you know, because he's <laughs> marked already. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> Ash Wednesday. Uh, yeah, this is the first day that we are we are really push the break of our life. Yeah, starting <coughs> with with fasting mm -hmm. and with abstinence of of meat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, once again, I know that you are remember this very well, but once once again, the fasting on the Ash Wednesday and uh, Good Friday. This is only one meal. To uh, to satisfy it, you know, to be I don't want to say to be full, but to satisfy it and too small, yeah. 
without meat. And this is exactly the same on uh, Good Friday. Uh, I am always trying. Sometimes it's uh, I won this this battle with myself to not eat at all on Ash Wednesday, but sometimes you know it's headache or, or I have to be, you know, more because there's so many masses. So sometimes I am breaking this, but it's still I am every every Good Friday and every Ash Wednesday I am trying to not eat at all, and uh, abstinence of the meat. Uh, remembers every Friday. This is why we are starting our uh, fish and fry. Mm. So yeah, but I am also afraid because so many people, so many Catholics, they are thinking that uh, you know the the Ash Wednesday is the most important day in the Catholic faith. Yeah, we have uh, so many of our brothers and sisters that will come for the Ash Wednesday. And they will forget that that this is a Lent time, and they will sometimes not even come on the Easter Sunday. Right. Yeah, right. Uh, this is really interesting that the the churches are full on the Ash Wednesday, uh, and then people disappear for forty days <laughs> and come back sometimes on on Easter. So yeah, Ash Wednesday. This is not the one day. This is not the you know the goal. Ash, Ash Wednesday is like a you know start. We are starting our our journey of the land. Uh, we are starting, and it have to be continued for next forty days. Right. So don't stop on the Ash Wednesday. Right. And now I, I yield to you for this month's chaplain's message. So of course, this month's chaplain uh, message it will be uh, about land, uh, about uh, especially Fridays. Uh, Fridays there are the special time during the Lent. Uh, we have an abstinence of the meat, we have a station of the cross. Uh, it has to be a different day. Yeah? Mm. It's, it's like a, let this year make a, every Friday as, a, as Wednesday. With the same, you know, the same spirit, with, you know, with the same power in yourself, you know, uh, I know that so many of you are working and, and are really busy. And then we have a, a fish fry, so not everyone could attend the Station of the Cross. But try. Maybe come to the morning mass. Maybe come during the lunch for the evening mass. Maybe before you will come for the uh, prepared, uh, because it's service. The, the fish fry is a service, so it's beautiful that so many of our brothers and sisters that are dedicated so many hours of their life in mm -hmm. Fridays mm -hmm. to serve community. Yeah, and, and maybe this is more harder than a uh, half an hour station of the cross. Yeah, <laughs> right. Maybe, maybe your uh, fish fry, it's, it's your station of the cross. Yeah, but still, maybe before, 15 minutes before or after, come to the church. No, stop by. You know, make a, think about this that this is not just a, a service. This is it have to be something for you also. And station maybe you know at three p.m. Three p.m. is the hour of of divine mercy, and we have a, a divine mercy chaplet uh, every Friday in the church, and we are streaming this on YouTube. Maybe one of the the um, Lenten uh, observance will be to pray uh, uh, Divine Mercy at 3 p.m. every Friday during the Lent. Maybe come to the church. Maybe join us by the uh, live streaming. Maybe just pray. This is, you know, when you are praying uh, the Divine Mercy chaplet by yourself, is like a six minutes. So it's, it's, it's not big sacrifice no. to make this, yeah? No. But the three o'clock, you know, the Friday have a meaning because this is a day when our Lord died on the cross. And 3 p.m. has a meaning because this is the hour when our Lord died on the cross. So do something during the Lent to recognize how Friday is important in our life. How we can join our suffering with the suffering of, of Jesus Christ on, on Good Friday. So use, use this time of the Advent to grow up in your faith. Amen. Amen. 
And that concludes our episode of this month's Lectures Corner. I want to thank Father Martin again for assisting us. And I'll end as I always do. Let God be your God and God bless you. God bless you.